Shalom, part four. And for as much as he is a righteous judge, he took from you in the time the thing that he had given you. And now are you here, and your brethren among you. Therefore, if so be that you will subdue your own understanding and reform, reform your hearts, you shall be kept alive, and after death you shall obtain mercy. For after death shall the judgment come, then we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Let no man therefore come unto me now, nor seek after me forty days. So I took the five men, and he commanded me, and went into the field, and remained there. And the next day, behold, a voice called me, saying, Edris, open thy mouth, and drink that I give thee to drink. Then opened I my mouth, and behold, he reached me, full, me a full cup which was full as it were with water, but the color of it was like fire. And I took it, and I took it and drank. And when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding, and wisdom grew in my breast. For my spirit strengthened my memory, and my mouth was open, and I shut no more. The highest gave me understanding as the five men, that they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that were told, which they knew not. And they sat forty days, and they wrote in the day, and at the night they ate bread. As for me, I spake in the day, and I held not my tongue by night. In forty days they wrote two hundred and four books. And it came to pass, when the forty days were filled, that the highest spake, and saying, The first that thou hast written published openly, that the worthy and unworthy may read it. But keep the seventh, seventy part of but keep the seventy last, that thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise among the people. For in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain of wisdom, and the stream of knowledge. And I did so. Revelations 18. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened upon it, lightened with its glory. And he cried mildly with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, that great Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her jealousies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven. And Abba, Yahuwah, has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she had filled to her double. How much he has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she has in her heart, I sit a queen, and I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the master, Yahuwah, who judges her. The kings of the earth, who have committed fornication, and live deliciously with her, shall bewail her, and lament for her, when they shall be, see the smoke of her burning, standing after, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Looking at the time. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth her merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble um, and cinnamon and odors and ointment and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, 
chariots and slaves and souls of men. And the fruits that they that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. And all the things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of the of, of these things, the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her tournament, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors, as many as trade by sea, stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust off her head, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For one hour she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and you holy apostles and prophets. For Yahuwah has avenged you on her. And a mighty angel stood up like a stone and a great milestone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus... With violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and pipers and trumpeteers shall be heard no more at all in thee. No craftsmen of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in her in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more all in thee. For thy merchants were great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all the nations deceived. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and the saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and the saints of all that were slain upon the earth. Shalom.